The challenge firstly is regeneration. The first incredible issue that you have to confront. The most representative elements of our projects, first of all, are the vertical circulation, that is the new circulation for the building, the new stairs, and uh, the uh, regeneration of the top floor. The Procuratia is this incredible, very famous facade, that is the facade not of the building, but is the facade of the Piazza San Marco Square. And this facade that is quite rational, with the 50 arches, in reality is uh, hiding an incredible complexity that is inside. That is the complexity of the story that's changed the, the building for 500 years. The role of Sassovino in the history of Venetian architecture is fundamental for two main reasons. One reason that introduced, in a way, the organization of the building by courtiers. The second way, it make a revolution about the organization of the staircase. For us, Sansovino stairs were very important. So we had developed an idea to give to this building three new stairs that they are inspired to Sansovino idea to uh, an enclosed stair. An enclosed stair that has um, a sort of archway idea. So you enter into a closed stair and not to an open one. The roof, the structure of the roof is quite original. So it's uh, 500 years old. And therefore, uh, the approach of the project is to make a complete conservation of the roof. In terms of uh, intervention, uh, we are trying to propose uh, local techniques uh, and historical techniques as well, as uh, the unifying element that is the floor that is done in pastellone. And these archways, they are done in uh, reusing uh, stone, local stone, and uh, is a, a reinterpretation of the terrazzo construction that is a typical Venetian construction. So the most important element of the project is this long series of arches that goes through the building as an infinite view throughout this building, looking back to history and looking in front to the future.